Hello everyone and welcome. So today we're going to be discussing the Louis Vuitton daily pouch in depth. If you're interested to learn more, stay tuned. Hey there! So if you're new to my channel, my name's Caleb, and on here you're going to find a lot of things like luxury shopping, reveals, reviews, unboxings, travel vlogs, daily weekend vlogs, pretty much anything that has to do with life and style you're going to find right here on this channel. So before we go any further, make sure to pause this video, hit the subscribe button down below, and hit the bell icon so that way you're notified when I post new content every Wednesday and Sunday morning. So today, as promised, we're going to be discussing the Louis Vuitton Daily Pouch. So this bag has been on my radar for gosh, probably since 2019, honestly. So we were in Germany, and if you haven't already heard the story, you can click the link down below. I've told it a thousand times. But the trip where I bought my Louis Vuitton Palace bag, this was also on my radar that same trip. Um, a, very similar in style. B, slim profile, just your typical zip top pouch, and C, a much better price point. All jokes aside though, I now have both, so not that that ever mattered in the first place apparently. So the daily pouch. Over the years it's come in several different canvases and leather colors. However, as of right now, it only comes in the monogram with the rose poudre trim, the sesame trim, the black trim, or the black emprunt leather. Now, the website did glitch recently and I was able to see that it's coming out in their new bicolor leather soon, so hot tip. I guess that's, you know, insider trader information. <laughs> but um, anyway, so when I went to the store a couple weeks ago, this bag was, it wasn't on display. I actually asked my essay, I'm like, hey, do you have the daily pouch in? Like I said, I didn't buy it in Germany the first time around. I had planned on buying it when we got home for my birthday that, that same year, but the price had jumped up like $100. And I was just like, you know what? I already have so many zip top pouches that basically look like this. I have the Gucci one, the Balenciaga one. I mean, do I really need another one? I mean, obviously I do, that's why I bought it. But she had this one in stock and then the black emprunt leather. Again, a lot of black bags in my collection. Do I need another one? Let me rephrase that. Did I want to buy another one that day? No. Do I need more? Of course. Why is there a limit? I talked it over with Zane, who was at work back in Indiana, because he wasn't here yet. And I was like, hey, you know, I sent him photos of both on me, sitting on the table. I'm like, which one do you think? We both came to the agreement that this one was the way to go, and I'm pretty happy with that choice. I think monogram, it's fun, it's synonymous with luxury and, and, and all that that encompasses. I do think it's possible to have too much in your collection, and I'm kind of on the verge of that with five or six monogram bags and a couple of monogram accessories and scarves and it's becoming a bit much so I'm going to pump the brakes on monogram for a hot minute and maybe explore some of the leather options that they're introducing. The new um, Kusen bag is absolutely stunning with the three compartments, the gold chain. Mm. <laughs> Why does it have to be over three grand? At that price point, I might rather go to Bottega Veneta. Anyway, beside the point, I'm rambling. Where was I even at? Oh, I want to try some of the new leathers. Yes, I think the new bicolor leathers are absolutely gorgeous. The new favorite is on my wish list too. Maybe I'll get that one. Nope. Nope, my birthday is around the corner though. So who knows, maybe another reveal is coming. Anyway, so I need to branch out when it comes to Louis Vuitton and try more of their leathers. In the past, I've had tons of Epi. I still have lots of Taiga in my collection and I truly do like those leathers. I haven't really experienced much of the newer leathers. Like this leather trim is not the most luxurious. So a full bag in that would probably be a little disappointing. I've always wanted a Suhali leather piece. Okay, again, I'm off topic. We're talking about the daily pouch. So this pouch, like I said, it came in the monogram with three color trims. It came in the emprunt leather. Leather, the all black. It also came in a rose de poudre emprunt leather. There was a gorgeous white emprunt leather with python trim, which was always on my wish list. Missed out on that one though. And like I said, they're going to be introducing it in the bicolor leather. And it also came in Damier at one point with red trim. The Damier bean was the red trim. The Damier Azure had the rose trim. So there are several options, both pre-owned and currently in stores. But this bag, it carries quite a bit. It packs a big punch for how small it is. So the bag itself, it's about eight and a quarter tall, just over 11 inches in length. And then the width, I mean, when it's not full, it's not very big, but if you're familiar with monogram canvas, you know it's very forgiving and it stretches out, which is nice. So the interior of this bag, it's just lined in there, typical microfiber Alcantara lining. There's one slip pocket, which yes, it does fit the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And yeah, I mean, there's really not much to say about the bag. It's a very simple zip top pouch. And after carrying this one for a full week, I, I really do like it. Will I buy it in more colors? Uh maybe the buy color if it's at a good price. Again, I, I like the bag, but I don't love it enough to buy it in multiples, unlike some of my Balenciagas or YSL bags. But 
it's still a great Baghdad cheer collection. So I've rambled enough. Um, I've talked enough nonsense. So let's take a closer look and see what actually fits in this thing. All right, so here we have a close-up look of the Louis Vuitton daily pouch. So let's see what all can fit inside. Well, before we get started, let's take a look at the interior. As you can tell, the hardware is a golden brass color and glides really smoothly. The interior, very simple. You do have one large slip pocket back here in the back, which still has the tags in it, of course, <laughs> and then one large interior compartment. First things first, in 2021, you're not going to be caught anywhere without a cell phone. This is my old 6 Plus, which you've all seen before. This is the demo phone on this channel. So let's go ahead and slide this in and see how that fits in the back pocket. Perfectly. All right, next up we have the Louis Vuitton Bratza wallet. This is a full-size wallet with, I believe, 12 to 14 card slots, so it's a pretty generous size. It has a couple of open pockets for cash and receipts and a generous zippered compartment, which is great for change if you're traveling abroad. But let's slide that in. So that'll fit nicely right there in the main compartment. We have our keys, so let's double those over and slide them down here off to the side. Is my gum gonna fit in here with all this? Let's see, maybe we can set that on top. And last but not least, this mess of headphones from Bose. I still haven't committed to buying the new ones from Bang & Olufsen, but my birthday's coming up, so maybe if I drop Zane a little birthday hint, I'll have them. <laughs> so let's throw those in there. All right, so there is everything inside the daily pouch. And as you can see, zips up just fine. And like I said before, canvas is very forgiving. It's, it's pliable, it's malleable, it's stretchable. So you can get quite a bit in there and it's not really bulging out at all. So yeah, that's the up-close look at the daily pouch. All right, guys, so that was our in-depth look at the Louis Vuitton daily pouch. It's a pretty good bag. Like I said, I love the bag. It's, it's great. Will I buy it in more colors? No. Well, I mean, never say never. I mean, I probably will. I, I have a shopping problem, as we can all tell at this point. Anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I know it's short. Um, I'm trying to get some content made because we are doing the big move with all the rest of our things later this week. So I need to get a couple videos in the can for Zane to edit so that we can just schedule and get those up. And then hopefully next week, once he's actually living here in Chicago with me, we can get back to a normal schedule and things will be a lot easier easier rather than uploading files to the cloud and then him downloading and then uh, it's it's been a mess and that's why I've been a little spotty lately so thank you guys for being so patient anyway thank you guys for tuning in if you don't already follow me over on instagram caleb.snell.designer link down below and I'll catch you in the next one all right have a great week you guys bye bye